Commander Bly's transport ship has recently been boarded by commando droids. The droids boarded from the back of the ship, lined up, and prepared for an assault on the rest of the ship. Commander Bly's troopers quickly went into defensive positions, ready to hold back the commando droids. Can Commander Bly get away from these droids that are hunting him, or will his ship fall? Yo, what's up gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we have another Men of War Assault Squad to the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod video. Uh, and in today's video, we have Commander Bly's 327th Star Corps defending a transport ship here. Commander Bly is chilling right over here on the bridge while the uh, rest of his troopers are defending uh, the different corridors and sections of the ship and the commando droids are over here in sort of like the engine section. Uh, this map we used before, this is actually the same type of ship as the Tantive IV. Uh, it was created by Mighty Mapper 123, and of course the Tantive IV ship style uh, was used in a lot of different eras of Star Wars. Uh, it's basically just a generic sort of cruiser and was used by uh, the Republic as well at some points in the war. So this does make some sense uh, for Commander Bly to be using a ship modeled after, or not modeled after, predecessing, or, or predecessing, I don't know, uh, before the Tantive Four. <laughs> Words are hard, guys. Either way, it should be a really fun battle. Be sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you would like to see some more Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. Either way, guys, without further ado, let's get poppin' here. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, gamers, let's get this thing on the road. Get the show on the road. That's the saying, of course. All right, Commando Droids beginning to breach the first hallway here. A number of them dropping to the ground dead already right off the bat, but they keep on funneling through and taking pot shots at the clones. In fact, they're even going into this first hallway here. Holy cow. All right, we got to slow this down. This is just happening so fast. Tons of bodies, both clone trooper and commando droid, on the ground right now. The commandos really went for the Blitzkrieg method here and uh, just went to overwhelm the clone trooper defenses. And it has worked to a degree. However, they have sustained incredible losses right off the bat here. Basically, the first section of the ship is now under commando droid control, uh, but the rest is still under clone control, and the commando droids still have a very, very long way to go, uh, and taking this many losses right off the bat like this is going to be detrimental to the rest of their fight. This was a, this was massive losses right off the bat. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be able to sustain these types of losses, especially if this is their strategy going forward. I just don't know if it'll work. Either way, the E-Web turret right here is blasting down this corridor here, getting crazy amounts of hits on these commando droids. The commando droids aren't really daring to step much farther further march farther further much farther onward i guess uh, and uh they're just sort of chilling in the back there there are some free roaming clone troopers this is one of them right here uh and they will be sort of darting around the battlefield supplying reinforcements or retreating as needed i always think the reinforcements uh of free roaming troopers is is just kind of interesting you know it adds a lo another dynamic, another level to the battle that you get to sort of pay attention to and watch out for. I, I think it's a really cool thing, actually. All right, the commando droids over here on the left side seem to be doing far better than the ones on the right side. I would definitely say if the commandos uh, really focused in on this left corridor over here, they would have better odds of winning this thing unless, uh, of course, they could somehow magically take out this e-web turret over here, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Oh, tons of free-roaming clone troopers have now come to the aid of these guys up here. 
It seems like this is an area where these free roaming clone troopers really would like to make a stand against the commando droids as a whole, uh, and so that's why they're all gathering right there. Commando droids still, of course, do have a load of troopers left alive here, so this battle is far, far from over, of course, but, you know, the losses are mounting for them. They need to make some actual gains here. It seems like on this left side over here, they're actually managing to move forward a little bit. So this could be their push forward uh, that gets them the gold. Of course, the UF turret can, of course, just uh, pivot around this way. So they need sort of a distraction on the left, uh, plus a good push on the right to come forward and actually manage to make this thing happen. They do gun down a few more free roaming clone troopers right there. That's a good job. Nice, nice job, commando droids. I don't know why I'm rooting for the commandos. Usually I'm I'm on team clone trooper all the way, but to be completely honest here, I like an underdog story, considering the fact that the commandos lost so many troopers at the very beginning of this battle, uh, it does have me a little bit more invested in their army than the clone trooper army. Uh, you know, I, I feel like the clones are actually in pretty decent standing for the rest of this uh, shipboarding here, uh, whereas the commandos are a little bit weaker. Commandos do manage to take out a couple more troopers there and heavily injure others, uh, but that is just this corridor over here. This corridor down this way, still an absolute mess. These commandos aren't even able to get past this area here they're sort of stuck back here so once again it really is up to the right side over here to manage to do something and get some uh, leverage on these clones these free roamers running in taking shots and then dipping back out once the heat gets too much and healing up that is actually a brilliant job by those free roaming clone troopers I think that is a fantastic strategy right there that they are employing. This guy is taking on this entire commando droid army over here all alone. That was not great strategy. No, that was pretty bad. He, he ended up falling on another fallen comrade right there. Yikes, not a good performance. All right, these commandos over to the left side, instead of really pushing too far forward, they seem pretty content in just solidifying their area here. But as soon as I say that, of course, a massive migration of them begin to push onward. Oh, they try and dart a couple of troopers across, but don't quite manage to. They're still stuck in this little choke point, although I will say they are managing to, uh, you know, get a few more free roaming clone troopers down and, uh, you know, progress a little bit. So it's not the worst thing ever. Really, a grenade would be absolutely wonderful right here. I don't know how they managed to do it. I don't think they'd have an angle, but like, if we were just talking what we want for Christmas or, you know, happy wishes, a grenade right here would be absolutely unbelievable. That would solidify uh, this position for the commandos. But again, it just does not seem to be happening, and the commandos are kind of stalemated right now in this second section of the ship. Uh, of course, there's still probably two more sections. There's the bridge and then this section right here. Uh, and then this section right here that we are currently looking at is about halfway dead. So commandos have a lot of work to do. They've still got a lot of troopers, but it is going to take some doing. Guys, come on. You know the clones are there. Try, try a grenade. I mean, you could definitely grenade this guy here. You know, worst comes to worst, you got one grenade option right here, but instead they, they choose to continue to get slaughtered by these clone troopers. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And these guys all over here, they're almost all entirely free-roaming clone troopers, actually, surprisingly enough. They all kind of gathered right here. Oh, big sort of dynamic shift over here. The clones choose to attack and get quickly slaughtered by the uh, commandos right there. Maybe the clones are getting a little cocky, uh, given the fact that they're holding this defensive position for such a long time. Now the commandos are like, well, don't mind if I do, baby. You know, we're going to push out a little bit here. So that's no bueno. Oh, a couple more commandos actually coming out this way. Get a couple of shots off. We are getting more movement now. It is becoming a bit more interesting. There's also shots going way out this way at these clone troopers over here. These guys behind the holocron table. Just sort of chilling. Just sort of chilling, dude. Did? Oh, come on. Stop trying that. Just grenade these guys. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating seeing the commando droids do such stupid things when literally they just need to grenade. Just one granata. Oh, this hallway is a disaster zone. I mean, so many dead over here. It is crazy. This commando droid's going kind of ham. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nope, he goes down. Yikes. All right, I am going to squad up the commando droids here. I think it is a necessity. We're squatting these guys up. 
and uh, we'll see if that actually manages to uh, you know push them forward a little bit more or, or get them more involved in this battle as a whole because it's really necessary right now the commandos are at kind of like make it or break it time here I, I really think it's this e-web turret is just destroying them it is 44 kills oh my god this trooper has seven this trooper's got three this trooper's got four this trooper's got one, this trooper's got none, this trooper's got, oh, we already know that, seven, this guy's got 12, and this guy's got four, uh, this guy in here has none. Yeah, so, I mean, most of these clones are getting kills, they are dropping bodies here, they are going just nuts, nuts with their weapons, I mean, it's actually insane, oh, that's a big kill, but does it really do that much, ooh, more clones choosing to attack. Again, not the smartest decision, but I guess it works out for the commandos. I mean, truly, the fact that this is a choke point fest, you know? This is choke points galore. Uh, it, it makes it extraordinarily difficult for the clones uh, to lose, you know? It makes it difficult for the droids to win, but for the, for the clones to lose this battle is going to be tough. Despite the droids outnumbering them at the beginning, like, 10 to 1, I think, in total. Like... The, the commandos were outnumbering these clone troopers by a heck of a lot. And still, it's a slaughter. I'm telling you, that's the power of the choke point. Big push over here from the commandos doesn't result in anything. They sent forward like seven troopers to go and attack and nothing, nothing, nothing. And these clones are getting more and more cocky here. They're pushing forward left and right. These free roamers, it's crazy. A couple of commandos doing some repairs to their bodies there. All right. Oh, that was a mistake. Yep. They got too cocky again. At, at least the, the commandos are still getting kills. That That's what's opening up the possibilities of perhaps a Separatist victory here, is the fact that the commandos are still getting a kill here or there. But it's truly only because of these free roamers choking. You know, being absolute dinguses. Dingai, if you will. They're just being doofy, schmoofy. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, that, they are making some mistakes, these free roamers. They are definitely making some mistakes. This guy's rotating around. Only to get gunned down. Oh, They emerge and just get shot up. I'm telling you, you guys gotta utilize some grenades. Alright. You know what? People are gonna get mad at me in the comments, but I'm gonna grenade for the droids here. I just wanna see if it's doable. Because this is frustrating. Here. Cook it. Launch it. Let's see. Nope, that didn't do anything. Okay. Let's see, let's see. How, how can we cheese this? Eh. How about that one? Oh, that's that's money. Yes! The rain! The rain of the E-Web turret has come to a close! Look at that! Commandos entering into the hallway! Oh, they're still getting gunned down. <laughs> Commander Bly just uh, his defenses are too good! The 327 Star Core is too powerful, dude. Too powerful. All right, let's squad up the last of these commandos here once again. Get them working together yet again. One guy's like in deep outer space here. <laughs> All right, buddy, you're you're just dead, I guess. You're just chilling. I guess he he is a droid, so he's not necessarily gonna die. But uh, you know, he's just chilling in space. He just chilling. You know how he do. All right. More commandos getting fired at down this corridor, as if it hasn't been bad enough already. These clones are relentless! They will not let these guys go. Not at all. I wonder if, like... If this battle is influenced by luck, you know? Like, at the very beginning, I wonder if the commandos would have made it farther if they just happened to kill the E-Web turret right away. I'm sure they would, you know? Because it's, it's not that hard of a target, especially with the amount of numbers the, the commandos had. I, I think we got to rerun this battle a few times just to just to test it out. Of course, this will be the official. All right. Nothing's really happening. I'm going to force the last of the commandos forward here. Let's uh, let's go in slow-mo here for just a second and uh, have, them, have them come on forward here. Come on, boys. All y'all got to start attacking right now. Get on up there. All right. Normal speed here. Normal speed Andy. Alright, they're getting up there. They're getting a few kills. They are pushing this choke point. And they're just about back to doing nothing. Well, they are taking some shots, so... 
Let's those just set those guys back there. All right, come on, guys, come on. You've been dilly-dallying enough. Oh, there is one clone right there. Oh, he got gunned down. Nice. Oh, another one emerges. Nice. All right, let's push him up this way. You know what? I'll take control of the villains. If they can't do it, I'll do it. Oh, God, they got slaughtered with that. Okay, I thought they might do a little bit better. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, that's about it for this battle. I would like to rerun it. So, uh, red are dead droids, yellow are dead clones. Clones did take some losses, but the droids, man, they got slaughtered slaughtered uh so let's run this one more time this is the official ending bly manages to live and uh it was really no competition but we'll run a fake ending just after this all right guys let's run it one more time just to see you know we'll, we're going fast speed here we'll just see you know can the commando droids get lucky and and perhaps destroy the clones a little bit easier in, in just like an off chance. So, I mean, they take these guys out with relative ease. And they keep pushing forward a little bit here. I mean, the E-Web turret's still alive, but they are pushing a little bit farther this time. Obviously, it's quicker. But, I mean, that's because that... There you go! They take out the E-Web turret, just like that. And they've still got all these troopers left. So, that's actually kind of crazy right there. So, that's just kind of proof that, uh, you know, this battle is purely based on luck. The UF turret only got 12 kills that time around, um, and uh, last time it got 50 plus kills. So clearly, this battle is is a lot based on luck, on whether or not the clones manage to defend or the droids manage to defend. Because you know, truth be told, I bet during this battle, the droids at the very least make it back there. You know, given the fact that so many clones are already dropping, so many clones are already dying right now, and the droids still have a ton of forces left compared to last time when they defeated the E-Web turret, I, I think the droids actually have a chance at winning this thing uh, because they managed to take that thing out. Uh, you know, they might not still win, but, uh, you know, I think this uh, evens the odds a lot more. So this battle is completely based on one static turret. You know, if the droids manage to take it out, boom, easy clap. If they don't, it's disaster fest. That's kind of interesting. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for me today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you did enjoy it. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more Men of War Assault Squad 2 the Star Wars Galaxy War mod. Either way, guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.